hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is coming to us thanks to information that we've gotten from um all the story books and the kids books that have been released in regards to encanto and even though we've seen part of what is in the book already in the trailer um, a little bit of it actually like clarifies more on the story that we've gotten so this particular story was actually written in italian but <laughs> thanks to google translation i've gotten to see what it's actually talking about and it actually clarifies a lot like makes us to understand more of everything that was said in the trailer so without any further ado let's dive right into it now just like from the trailer, from this first image we can see um, Alma um, holding her triplets and she looks like she's in a terrible state of mind, like she just lost someone and from the wildest guess it's definitely her husband Pedro. You know we, we got the information that um, Pedro actually sacrificed a lot for his family and the text that goes along with it says, Unfortunately however, not to be saved, Alma fell to her knees in despair and began to pray holding the little ones tightly. Suddenly, his candle begins to shine with a magical light, and out of nowhere, many butterflies appeared while the mountains rose towards the sky. So from this statement, we can see that this candle, that's the magical candle which blessed their family with a miracle, actually belonged to the husband Pedro. He was the one that came in contact with it. We still don't know how he got it, but then I have to guess that whatever means he used to get it actually cost him his life which is like the great sacrifice he actually made for his family. So moving on we can see how the house sprung up from the candle and how it became the beautiful casita which we all love and the text that is written on it says, Pedro's promise was taking shape, a new home had sprung up in the splendid Encanto Valley, casita was born, a safe place to live, an enchanted home and from nowhere appears casita. A welcoming house in the magical valley of Encanto. Alma will do everything so that anyone can live happily here. So I'm guessing the promise Alma makes to her husband um, is that she's going to make sure that everyone living in the house is happy. That is to say she's going to give her best to make sure that her family actually lives a happy life. And then the next thing we see is Alma with younger versions of Pedro, Julieta and Peppa standing in front of their doors that to get into their room to get to unlock their powers and they're all wearing white which is similar to what um, Antonio was wearing when he got his own power so the white dress and all the ceremony is kind of like a traditional thing in the Madrigal family and the text that follows it says since then the children of Encanto have been given the magical power that they discover by opening a door time passes and Alma becomes the grandmother so the Encanto children, that's when they reach a certain age, they come to the door and then they open it and get to uncover whatever powers they have. <laughs> but unfortunately Mirabel, her turn, it was not so thrilling because she didn't get her powers. And from this we see that um, time passes as they are trying to like skip ahead to the present time, that's where the storyline actually happens. So this is where things actually get interesting. The next thing we see is what I believe is a song about the house Casita. Um, you know like classic disney movies is probably going to be sung by the younger version of alma and then will like fade into the present time so the words of the song says casita sweet casita this is casita the fairy casita a wonderful place here i was born it is life like a person and it is cheerful lively and so good it transforms it moves it listens to you and always different from time to time it moves walls, corridors, and steps to entertain adults and children. At lunchtime, he wants to help you. He gives you a hand to set the table. Inside the house, I feel calm. If the sun is shining at the window, I sit in peace. I look around and full of joy, I smile and sigh. <laughs> wow, this lyrics is so beautiful. I can't wait to hear how this song goes as if it's actually going to be in the movie because I don't know if it's going to be in the movie or it's just like part of the, the, the books. We just have to wait and see how that goes. So the next page that is shown to us actually skips the whole movie, bringing us down to the very end. And this is a very pivotal moment in the movie, um, even though we didn't get to know how everything happened. But at least this is something we can work with and it actually explains a lot about Mirabel. So, so from this image, we can see Alma and Mirabel in an emotional moment together, hugging each other in an open environment with butterflies flying around her. You know, butterflies have been um, Mirabel's insignia since the very beginning of promotion about her. And from the image of her grandfather, Graham Pedro, 
we saw butterflies on it too which means they kind of like have a similarity between each other and i saw this information from encanto movie underscore columbia i'm gonna leave a link to their instagram page in my description below that says something about the relationship between mirabel and her grandmother abuela alma it says that Mirabel has a tense relationship with her grandmother in Encanto for not having the magical gifts. And according to co-director and screenwriter Cheris Castro, Alma did not make the best decision and she has a mysterious past. So like we saw in the trailer, the happy smile on Abuela's face when um, Isabella was dancing and then flowers were just springing forth, it's obvious that Abuela actually has favorites in the family and she's only human so I give her that and it's nice to see that she's not the traditional all perfect all knowing grandmother, she actually has her own flaws, she has actually made mistakes and the mysteriousness that is described of her, I can't wait to see how all that uncovers when the movie drops. And if you look at this picture deep down, you can see portraits of Alma with her grandkids in front of their doors, definitely the, the moments when they got to receive their own powers. <laughs> and of course, Mirabel's image is not there. So given this tense relationship we've gotten to see about um, Abuela and Mirabel, it's nice to see that by the end of the movie, Alma will actually get to realize how special Mirabel are like all the members of the family. And now back to this, the text on the image actually says, Now, however, Mirabel has shown everyone how to bring back the magic of Encanto, talking to each other, loving each other and hugging each other. So I don't know, this is kind of like Mirabel's power could actually be, you know, the way we all say that, oh, Anna's power is love because she's like an embodiment of love, she's like a strong character. Could that be the same superpower that um, Mirabel has? And then links to the butterfly, there could be more, but then this is what we've gotten. And then the next thing that follows is that with patience and love, Casita is reborn. Thanks to Mirabel, who knows how to convey serenity and sweetness. A big sweet magic. So serenity and sweetness, that's Mirabel's past. I don't know if this is actually going to come out in a magical way or they are just being literal, but then we will just have to wait and see. So what are your thoughts about all this? I'd love to hear your theories on what you actually think is going on here. Um, it doesn't say much but then it like describes a little bit about Mirabel and how her spirit and her personality works. Um, just share all that in the comment section below and let's discuss this. Thanks for watching this video, you can hit the like and the subscribe button, check out more of my videos and I'll see you next time. Bye!